Apply the retinal active and hyaluronic active mesoglide to the scar treatment area and using your fingers feel and determine whether the scar tissue is atrophic as we see here or slightly raised or hypertrophic for these two scars here. We can use a gliding technique for this upper area but for these minor hypertrophic scars we can use an imprinting technique and go in at a multiple angle. First to treat our top scar using our glide technique. Turn the Dermapen 4 up to full speed. I'm at 1.75 millimeters. Horizontal, vertical, diagonal 1, diagonal 2. Assess the area to determine visual endpoint. We see that no pinpoint blood has come out, so simply increase the Dermapen up to 2 millimeters for this patient's instance. Again, pass over using a combination of vertical technique, horizontal, diagonal 1 and diagonal 2. If a multi-pass is required, this is not problematic. We see our visual endpoint of blood. Now working on our hypertrophic scars, because the hyaloactive glide creates slip, use some gauze to support the surrounding skin and ensure that there is no risk of needle stick injury. We see this effect at two millimeters for this top scar, so a three millimeter setting will most probably be too deep for this patient. So at two millimeters, we've reduced the speed down to speed one, which is 66 revolutions per second. At a 90 degree angle, hold into place for three to four seconds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We see some pinpoint blood coming through. Now support the tissue and going in at a multiple angle, again holding for three to four seconds per application. Simply adjust position of your pen and your gauze, watching and ensuring that your fingertips do not risk needle stick injury. Again, we go for our desired visual endpoint of pinpoint blood. Now onto the second scar at a 90 degree angle. Using your gauze to support the skin if required. And then at a multiple angle. Three to four seconds and simply hold the derma pen into place using an imprint technique when not stamping. The sound of the device still operating means that our needles are at the perfect depth. Apply some Clinoprep solution and remove any post-operative residue. For localized scars, we can use the RER Rapid Eye Restore Mask from DP Dermaceuticals as a localized treatment post-operative. And this may be applied onto the skin for up to 7, 10 or 15 minutes post-op. Remove the hyaloactive 3D sculptured mask. Any residue can be dried up just by using some dry cotton. And now we follow with our post-operative care. Vitamin rich repair, massaged into the treatment area. Depress a few pumps of the DP Dermaceutical Scar Cream, a specialized formula that contains seven types of silicon, beeswax, and zinc oxide. And this is massaged in following the procedure to enable faster re-epithelialization and protection. Cover Recover in a tint can be applied over the top for treatment of facial regions. Blend until undetectable.
Hold the skin in position, the skin's going to be slippery, so use gauze if you need to. So now, holding the skin into position here, you can see that this now becomes three-dimensional. 90 degree, 45. Now you'll notice that some of the needle cartridge has raised. So this means that not all 16 needles are going in, but you will have 50% of those needles. See that visual endpoint? Perfect. See how that has now completed endpoint. So again, get the patient just to turn. So now on this lower area, so this upper area here, Perfect. So you can see this localized collection here. Perfect visual endpoint.